Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, September 30th. So today we have the moon in Virgo here all day to help us wrap up September and the life lessons that we were supposed to learn. If you need to listen to the September energy forecast, that intro that I put out there about a month ago, just to see how your September kind of chalked up and where you're at with these particular energies and life lessons, I'm definitely going to recommend you do just that. I'm also going to recommend that you download your Zodiac forecast, your e-guide. It is a new type of resource. Again, I kind of stepped away from doing the audio Zodiac forecast for the month. My voice just could not take it any longer. And they are all now in workbook form. So I am going to recommend that you get that in front of you. It is going to be your energetic assistant to move through the energies of October. We have six different aspects taking place here today. So a relatively quiet day in the cosmos, again, kind of wrapping up this old September chapter and setting the tone for October. And of course, we are about to move into the new moon eclipse window here very shortly. So it's very, very interesting that we have a quiet day in order for us to get mentally and emotionally in alignment before the scales get wackadoodled once again. Before we have any moon aspects, we have a pretty interesting, pretty strong aspect popping off between Mars and Saturn. Okay, so Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in cancer energy. And Saturn, the lord of karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline, who is retrograde in Pisces energy, gives us water on water action. We love a trine. A trine is a little bit of a nudge in the right direction, a little bit of growth, if you will. And because this is definitely putting us into being a little bit more realistic about our situation, our circumstances, we are starting to realize what we truly value, what we're focused on, what we want to fight, defend and protect. Again, with Mars and this cancer energy, we are looking to preserve more than we are looking to initiate. And so we want to be careful with our energy management. We want to make sure that we're picking, you know, tasks, chores, activities that come a little bit more organically, things that kind of need to be done that we're not forcing ourselves to do. Again, there can be a little bit of a heaviness, a little bit of a weight with Mr. Saturn, but we're starting to feel a little bit more productive. We're starting to kind of feel where it is that our energy is picking up a little bit. We understand what demands our time, energy, and attention, but we're taking a very low, slow, steady approach to what needs to be done. Now, this is a time for us to persevere, okay? So we're kind of losing steam. We're kind of losing patience. We're losing willpower. Those are all things that are very much at the top of the list in this eclipse season that many of us are experiencing. But nonetheless, we're starting to see things from a different set of eyes. And with this particular transit, we're just seeing where it is that when we take things one step at a time, that guess what? Things aren't so overwhelming. Things aren't so paralyzing, if you will, and we can actually get shit done. The moon in Virgo energy is then going to sit across from directly oppose Saturn because, of course, Virgo and Pisces energy sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. Emotionally speaking, in Virgo energy, we just want to fix our lives. We just want to stop the craziness, the chaos. We want to put things into their place, back into order, if you will. And because Saturn does kind of give us a little bit of a negative Nancy vibe, we are going to feel a little bit more serious, a little bit more somber in approaching the problematic situations, the chaos, the craziness, still alive and well in our physical lives. We need to give it a new structure. But we're starting to realize that the structure that is actually needed is a new level of willpower and discipline within us. We need to get focused. We need to have a methodical, systematic plan to tackling some of the issues that have become too overwhelming for us in the most recent of days. The moon in Virgo energy going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Mars. So Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. We have Mars in this cancer energy that he doesn't really enjoy being in because, again, he can't take initiation on anything new. He's just taking action on trying to preserve what he's already built, what he's already created, what it is that he's already brought to life. Now, emotionally speaking... 
we're actually getting fired up. We're getting emotionally charged, if you will, to kind of see where it is that a new level of focus, a new level of determination is needed in order for us to push through the current blockages, the current obstacles that, of course, have beat us down and made us feel a little bit sad. Now, this is going to be a pick me up. We may have a lot of restlessness building within us. We are in eclipse season. We are approaching the new moon. And so we may have a little bit of a scattered in around meaning lots of ideas, lots of energy kind of pinballing around us. If we're able to focus on the problematic situations, on the areas that we actually have power and control over, that we have the ability to make improvements upon here in our physical realm, here in the here and now, we could see some serious progress, some serious productivity. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde and Capricorn energy. This is going to highlight for us where it is that we are kind of beating a dead horse, if you will. There's a lot of things going on in the cosmos right now that is trying to illuminate where it is that we're overly attached to the old, even though we've outgrown it, even though it's no longer serving a purpose to us, to our growth, to our evolvement. But again, we kind of get tunnel vision on doing the same old, same old thing. And Pluto is here to remind us that guess what? It's heavy. It's sucking the life force energy out of you. It's consuming a lot of mental and emotional power and it's no longer serving a purpose. So why are we holding on? This is an ability for us to realize where it is that we can flip the script, where it is that we can change our perspective, where it is that we can loosen our grip on the old world, on the old habits, the old patterns, the old behaviors, and where it is that we should be trying something new. The moon in Virgo is then going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, who is retrograde in Aries energy. This is us kind of tapping into this new version of self, into our higher self, into our intuition. We're starting to see where it is that we do have a new level, a new ability, if you will, to see ourselves from a different set of eyes, a new lens, if you will. We're not picking ourselves apart. We're not beating ourselves up, breaking ourselves down. Instead, we're focusing in on our strengths, on our ability to see the problematic areas and actually do something about it. We are more open to healing, to growing, to repairing certain issues, certain topics and themes, especially in our inner realm that, of course, have been weighing us down and holding us back. This is definitely an evolution type of situation where we're starting to see this new version of self and the strength, the confidence that this new version of self actually has. The last thing that we have going on here today is Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. Mercury is in Libra energy and Mercury is also in rulership over this Virgo moon. Mercury is going to come up to bump into team up with the sun in Libra energy. Now, this is a precursor to this new moon solar eclipse in Libra energy that we're going to have here on the second. But let me just say that this is going to be a burst of energy in our mental plane. This is going to be a reset, if you will, on how we're seeing things. There's a sudden epiphany, a sudden amount of clarity or a little bit more of an awareness about our situation, about our circumstances. You need to be very careful on how you speak here today, on what you're writing down, on what you're actually sharing with people because your words have more of an impact now. It's almost like creating a spell. It's almost like you are saying something out loud and you are setting that particular intention into stone. For better or for worse, be very careful about how you speak and what you're actually capturing as far as your thoughts, your ideas go. Now, this is also gonna be an aha moment on where it is that some of the details that we've been missing out on are starting to pop together, starting to connect, starting to make a little bit more sense, which has us replaying certain situations and circumstances, certain new discoveries, if you will. We're starting to see it from a different lens. We're starting to kind of, I'm going to say, soften up to it a little bit because, of course, we are in labor season. This is a time to negotiate, to compromise, to kind of talk our way, charm our way back into good places, especially in relationship dynamics. Dynamics. So this epiphany, this aha moment, this matter of fact, if you will, is going to set the tone for a certain plan, a certain strategy for us to actually move on and move forward. Again, we're not going to fully understand the plan, fully see all the details until after this eclipse event comes to pass. But we're starting to see the seeds, if you will, be planted of new ideas, new realizations, new epiphanies on where our time, energy and attention is now needed the most. <laughs> 